Who's coming under? Okay. Uh, hey there, everyone. Oh, I cannot pause. Got it. Uh, as you can see, we are playing Betterify 2. And as you can see, I have started a new file. Yeah, I can't pause out here, so we're gonna have to go through the initial cutscene again. But you know what? That's fine. Um, Vault Gloss and Angel have combined their might to suggest a few weird odd and ends to do uh, in this little intermission. Friday intermission before the game opens up to me again. So I'm just gonna button through this real quick. Basically the first thing, actually it's a really smart thing to try that I hadn't considered. So, the star hub. Every time you find a star hub, like a star in the map, things happen, right? Like it gets more populated, it gets more developed, and you get the password book. Thing is, like, the passwords will work even if you haven't unlocked the password book. So, what happens if you type escape orb, the spell to end up directly at the star road hub if you do not have any stars at all? We're gonna be finding that out real now. This is the very start of the game. Escape orb. Still works. I have done nothing. <laughs> That's so good. Sniff it. Wait, it's doors though. This is completely different. Betor with a church? Well, so now I have to go in here and- Okay, I cannot press up in front of here. Okay. Are these like cr the authors? This is really good. That is so smart. Yeah, the Star Hub is not ready yet. It is still being built. <laughs> I love how. No, right! She got the palace bought out of her. And that's why it is in the state when carried in the main game. This is what it was like when she's in charge. Any more? Oh. Interesting. And that's a tendril we've met, but it's too high. I can't speak to it. Cannot climb this, this uh, vine. Oh, this is so neat. <laughs> getting out of, not getting in. Is this time a cyclical? Well, this door you can open though. It is door shaped. This is wild. There's so much to this. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, they'll happen later. Ah, 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 okay. I am amazed. This could be before, it could be after. Don't try to understand too hard, I guess might be the lesson here. Whoa, mountain! <laughs> Both of these things are right. <laughs> what is your deal? Gun having mountain? And am I just stuck here forever? Like, how would I get out? Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't get out. Maybe you have to, like, actually exit and start over. Because I can't use the door I came out of. This is wild. Okay. Yeah, and I might just be stuck here. What happens if I do a skateboard room again? Like, what does that do? Alright. Alright. Go, go, oh, go, go, Goomba. Wow, it just shuts it right off. 
All right. I'm tired of all of this walking. I didn't get like I pressed it twice. Maybe I shouldn't. Like I I, I pressed a code here. <laughs> I forgot about that. I might as well power up you too while I'm here. All oh, right, you gotta go in the other door. It's been a while since we've been here. Yeah, and then we get destroyed by the title screen. Welcome to Betterified. So, I'm tired of all this walking. There we go! Ooh, so that shows us all the paths. Alright, so, a uh, spoiler alert. Luckily, we're not going anywhere new. So, this is an opportunity, basically, because, um... I'm not baptized, right? Uh, I am a perfectly neutral little man. And you know what? Since I'm here... Since I'm here... The password... So, as I said before, if you talk to Betor enough on the map, eventually he reveals a password to you. Uh, I didn't want to do that on my main save because it felt wrong like you know it just like I, I made choices that made it so I wouldn't get that that's fine but since we're struggling to look for things to do um, <laughs> might as well do it here Betor can give you a password which is just his name back backwards so uh Roteb which leads us to this hanging pipe See, I can't have that in my- I can- I don't want that achievement on my real... On my real... save. <laughs> Is this really Mario 1? Is this an emulated Mario 1? Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's really good. I think- you remember when I played Pokemon? Direct during Magal X2. Mm, this is different. There's no uh, Goombas up here. This is really dumb. Though. I love it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, give me that star. That is so. It says better up there. So it is a uh, slightly ROM hag. Oh man, Mario One controls so badly. <laughs> no, this, this is Mario One. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's good. Uh, ooh, that fade though. I don't know. Is it those fishes appearing? That's a lot of fun. Then your head gets cut off. It's pretty good. I want to get all the way to. Uh, I want to beat World One. I'm not gonna take the Star Warp or whatever. I just want to go all the way to the end of World One. I can do that probably. This is so... Of course, this is so good. So, you know what? Yeah, I kind of regret now. The See, the thing is, that can be gamed. If you know it's gonna happen, you can just not get the Betor star until... Um... Until you, uh, uh, you know, until, until he gives you the password. But still, no, yeah, I don't want that achievement on my file. Uh, it's it would feel wrong, especially given all the message surrounding Bedor himself and his level. Like that would just be weird. I uh, I have at least that much respect. Oh boy. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> now I get to be Bedor's head. <laughs> I love how it transparently looks, just completely cut up too. Uh, that's the best. <laughs> On the flag, you can clearly see Mario peeking out, too. Well, that's funny. That's just really funny. You can see, like, weird fish appear on the side of the screen constantly. I have no idea what up with that. I will have to, uh, force the game over, though. Uh, 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 like, because, like, I I'm not gonna play until I get game over. 
See, pause just pauses, like like it doesn't pause like in Smebex. Uh-oh. Well, I just did that. I mean, I might get bopped at Bowser, I don't know. Oh, I forgot about those. I mean, I knew they were there, but not like there specifically. I just kind of let- oh wait, the fire doesn't move the way I'm used to. What's up with that? Also, the platform isn't moving? I th wait, there's a platform here? What version of the game is this? Really? I did get bopped. Uh, this is not identical. The platform should be moving, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, the fireball, I don't know. Maybe I, it's just been a very, very long time since I've touched this game. I forgot, but it does look like wrong. I want to see if Toad is going to be different, but yeah, we're not going to finish the game though, sadly. We have to just go. You know what, I took a damage. I took a hit. There's actually crime here? Okay, so this is a recreation. Betor Princess is in another cat. There's crime coins here! Wait, I am... I feel like I need to beat the game. I am enticing a game over. What is the nature of what is going on here? And there is a leaf block up there somehow. I don't know. I don't know what is the nature of what I just experienced. I'm honestly, I'm curious about like how it ends, but also uh, not enough to indulge in playing the entire of Mario Land. Like even with, well, it's not that long, but I'm super rusty is the thing. Oh my God, oh cow, you are the worst. Throws him at an angle, which is not... Yeah, again, that is not normal lack of behavior. For Mario 1. I think I missed another one up. That's fine. Oh, that climbing! Yeah, see, this is not Mario 1 climbing. But I refuse to believe that someone took the time to painstakingly recreate the entirety of Mario 1. Like, that just... That just does not make sense. Maybe someone else did and that's what they used? There is a lot of borrowed levels. I mean, it seems kind of rude to just borrow an entire thing. Like, an entire port like that. I don't know. I don't know what to think. No, 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 no. That would have killed the bullet. Did the one up not one up? The one up clearly didn't give me a life. 
All right. See, I thought I want to see how the end is different, but I am not willing to. You know, like it's not part of the game here. Like it's not. I it's. I don't want to spend time on that to beat Mario One. If anyone wants, like, you know how to get there, I would like to see it. I'm just not willing to putting in the work. Alright, so, um, I'm not baptized, uh, but Block said no apparently is an absolute nightmare. Let's experience that together. Yeah, so what I've heard is that the whole level is just, like, messy with with blocks like this, and it's something I did not experience originally. Eh. Dude, just do the jump. You did it before. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dude, just, just get on top there. So you gotta find a where to go. Right here. Here we go. Oh, this is a decision that was made. Okay, so just kind of wait. Mm -hmm. But you see, it makes like the future jump easier though. Like you have to see it that way. Wow, I can't believe that the a level would change that much though, right? All right, I kind of want to just kind of get rid of you if I can. Because, you know, it's kind of dangerous while you're here. You see? The, okay. I'm gonna continue that thought by just kind of destroying as much as you as I reasonably can. Eh. I think there's... Oh, you know what? I can use the shell to get what's in that box. I'm pretty sure it's a health. Which I'm going to... Oh, no, it's a vine. That hits a block immediately. Oh, boy. All right, okay, let's be careful now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I was not just happened to be dancing all around blocks the first time. They just didn't exist. I still feel like I've encountered worse before. All right, I can do this. There we go. Yeah, you're here. It's pretty good. You're here, yeah. Oh, I just... Okay, that could have gone real bad, but it didn't. Um, you're here, but reasonably, I cannot get up through that guy. Expect a block! Did not get a block. I'm doing this for the shell, transparently. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy you. So then I can, like, do something like that and not hit you at all. That's the plan! Alright, block here. Yes. Yes. Okay. This guy, his pattern was changed. Could be a goodie up there. Block here, no. Here, yes. Here, no. Like, you just kind of have to consider it. Okay, you're a vine to end up not doing anything. Uh-huh, you. There we go. And a pipe, the traveling pipe. Pipe the traveler. Here to greet us with his mighty height. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting blocked yet. Oh, there I got blocked. Like, I feel like this is like the one block I got while I was playing here, post-baptism. And I ma I knew where it was, so I managed to dodge it. I don't know, man. People are mentioning how it was like a super nightmare. Maybe it's because I know to expect it, but this isn't that bad at all. Although here, though, we might be having a problem. Oh boy. Uh, how is this gonna work? It's like, I, how is this going to work, actually, for real? There is no spot I can go reasonably. And, like, I'm gonna get shoved by this wall here. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed to find. This gives me an end to hop on 
It's that little thing. Here we go. Okay, here it's free. Here it's free in places. Like around here. It's not good. It's kind of good. It smells good. <laughs> it's not that good. Ooh, double jump will be useful though. Alright, let's ruin the rest of this bacon. How about... That's pretty good though. Little ambush where a Rex would naturally be. I have a blue hat protecting me. And your shiny. Oh, and you destroyed it too. So that's, that's pretty rad. Alright, okay. So where are we going today? To the market somewhere where we can. Oh, I stepped on the spike. I didn't even fall in it. Pretty. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Last little bit of nightmare for you and me. It wasn't even that bad, bop. bop. Oh, okay, you can just go here. It's all good. All right, more bops, maybe. Welcome to heaven. That's what it looks like. Kind of expected that. Surprising. That's pretty good. <laughs> Not in England at all. Actually, can't go back in. But wait, how does that? Do you need to like get it from here? Maybe. Okay. All right, that works. To repeat myself, I didn't think that was nearly as bad as what people have said, but it, it's fine. I mean, I went in knowing, expecting a nightmare, and expectations change a lot, but no, yeah. Uh, it's a trolley uh, invisible block level. So Bossrified also changes quite a bit, I heard, if you are, if you have not been baptized. Yeah, it's not empty for- You're not wrong. Can I follow you? No. Whoa, I never saw the text get blocked like that. Well, um... Oh, I cannot go in the bag there. I really need to go in the front. So that's it. That guy's there. He rockets up into space. And there you go. There's... <laughs> Doesn't seem to be all that much more to it. Maybe it's because I need to be, uh... Mushroom? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but... Where can I just get hurt? Maybe you need, like, a mushroom in your box? I'm gonna do both. I get hurt. I'm gonna have a mushroom in my box. Wow, I can barely jump here. Or you summon the mushroom from, uh, like, a meal, which I think is the Monday prize on the market. Maybe. Point is, we saw a little cutscene. Might lead to something new and exciting and different, but if there is, I don't know what it is. You may try and figure it out. I won't stop you. But, uh, I think this is gonna be good for the Enderlude, which ended up being a pretty long recording session, mostly because of the Bedor game. Again, like, I'm curious to know if you beat it, what happens. I just 
I don't think I want to dedicate the video time to that because it is just Mario 1. But like a weird off version of Mario 1 that has things that don't work. So I don't know.